Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. Today we're going to be continuing our series on compositing an image in Photoshop. Last week we cut out our model from a white backdrop and made sure that she looked uh, or blended in perfectly with the new backdrop. And today we're going to do a quick retouch on her skin and add some crows into the image. But with that said, let's get started. So this is the stage that we are at in now after last week's video. As you can see, we have our uh, model on a separate layer. We have a gradient uh, that makes that helps us in blending the model into the background a bit better. Now, let's first start out by retouching her skin. Uh, and that's actually pretty quick. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new layer and use the healing brush for this. So I'm going to just zoom in a bit on her face, use the healing brush and just uh, the healing brush works so that you push down the alt key and uh, pick an area that has good skin and then just use the healing brush to take that texture from the area that you chose with the alt key and paint it over the uh, bad bad areas. So push down the Alt key, choose a good area of skin and paint on the not, not so good area of the skin and that way you can quickly uh, get rid of the biggest, uh, I wouldn't call them flaws, but imperfections in the skin. Here we have a model with pretty good skin, so it's uh, pretty fast, a pretty fast process. And I'm not going for a fashion, high-end fashion look anyway, so we don't need to make it perfect. Just get rid of the uh, biggest imperfections. That's pretty much it. So what what I've been doing here, like I said, just pushing down the Alt key, selecting an area that has good skin texture and uh, then co kind of copying that good skin texture on the areas that have the imperfections. But I think that's pretty much it. We don't need to make it any better than this. The skin looks good in my opinion. I'm gonna just turn it on and off a few times so you guys can see. Just We just got quickly rid of the biggest imperfections in her skin. Otherwise, I think it's good. So now we're ready to add some crows into the image. So how that works is we're going to take this folder here. I have some stock photos of crows. And uh, as you can see, they're on white backgrounds now. So instead of having this folder that ha contains the crows, instead of having it on pass through, I'm going to switch it to multiply. And that should get rid of the white backgrounds and just leave the crows themselves. Uh, now what I need to do is I'm going to work on the composition and making sure moving these birds around, copying them, uh, flipping them, flipping them uh, horizontally, vertically, resizing them, and that way creating a composition that I like. Uh, this will take a while, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, work on this and come back to you guys as soon as I have the composition ready. So now we're going to add some blurs, uh, lens blurs, Gaussian blurs, so that we can make this uh, kind of look uh, more real. So uh, so let's start off with uh, adding some blurs to the level 3 birds that are kind of the farthest, farthest away from the camera. So I'm going to turn these other two levels away. We have these birds here, so we're going to just uh, merge this group together and put them on multiply and that way now we have the birds on their own layer and now we go to filter and uh, choose blur and we're gonna use the lens blur this might take some experimenting to get the settings right for your own images but let's see I think this will be quite okay I probably will slide this a bit forward. 
Yeah, let's put it on 40, I think. 40 is pretty good. Yeah, 40 is good. These look okay. I, I wouldn't really start touching them. So I'm, then just click OK. Now, as you can see, there are just some small black blurred uh, artifacts in the background. You really don't even know that they're birds, but you need to have them there to kind of create this feeling of depth. So then we have our second level of birds that are slightly closer to our subject. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to merge the group together, put it on multiply, and then again, filter, blur, lens blur. Now these birds, we want to have a bit slightly more in focus. So I'm going to pull it, uh, pull this blur focal distance to, to the right. Let's see, like 85, somewhere around there. Let's see, 85, I'll just write, type it in. Yeah, 85 looks pretty good, so I'm going to just click OK here. Good. That's 85. And then the last level, the birds closest to our subject, uh, these we're going to have to... We're going to right click, we're going to merge this group. And for this group, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to put it on multiply, but I'm going to duplicate this group. We're going to click duplicate layer, click OK, and we're going to hide it for now. On this, uh, we're going to go to filter, blur, and motion blur. And that's Let's see, around uh, just a tiny bit of motion blur, 35, so that you kind of get this motion going on here. And the angle is, well, you can really decide whatever you want. I'm going to choose maybe like this. That looks good. And click OK. So now we have this motion going on here. But I want to have the birds kind of also sharp. So we're going to do, we're going to add now this copy or we're going to make it visible and then lower the opacity of it a bit. That way we get a pretty nice uh, sharp feel to some of the birds on the foreground but still have this kind of motion blur behind them and make them look a bit more uh, not as passive probably would be the right way of saying it. So now just click on and off the crows. What I've actually just noticed is some of the birds still have these frames around them from the white backgrounds. So when we put them on multiply, uh, they kind of, they weren't perfectly white backgrounds anyway. So what we're going to have to do now is mask those uh, frames around them away. That's not super hard or it's pretty easy we're gonna just create a mask take a black brush from here and then what you have to do is I just put a put the flow up to 100 what you're gonna have to do is just mask those areas out the good thing is these are so blurred behind in the background so you probably wouldn't even even notice this and like now we noticed it so we're just gonna take care of it quickly uh, but now we kind of we see the birds we have them on a few different uh, uh, like layers and uh, some of them are farther away in the uh, for, uh, background some of them are closer to the camera in the foreground and with these lens blurs and Gaussian blurs and motion blurs we kind of created this bit more real composition here with the birds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, week's installment of Tuesdays with Laurie. And as always, if you have any questions or f uh, requests for future episodes, just let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, next week, we're going to finish this image. Or actually, I think we're going to do it already this Thursday. We're going to finish this image. We're going to color grade it and make sure that everything blends in together perfectly. Uh, with that said, stay tuned and see you again next week. Bye.